In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Lamb of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. And today we also celebrate the All Souls Day. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, saints and you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seem in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if before men, Indeed, they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Just so little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through his stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall, their, shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In burdened pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the lord for years to come the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans brothers and sisters hope does not disappoint because the love of god has been poured out into our hearts through the holy spirit that has been given to us. For Christ, when we were still helpless, 
died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person. Though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we were justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath? Indeed, if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, how much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. God so loved the world that he gave us his only Son, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dahil ngayon po ay araw ng mga patay, ialay po natin ang ating misa doon po sa ating mga yumaong mahal sa buhay. Alalahanin po natin sila, ipagdasal, ipagdasal po natin sila kung nasan man sila ngayon. Bakit po kailangan natin silang ipagdasal? Marami po sa kanila siguro baka matagal nang namatay ilang taon na ang nakalipas dapat pahuba natin silang ipagdasal ng ipagdasal ang sagot po ay oo kailangan po natin silang ipagdasal palagi yung pagkakamatay po natin meron po yung proseso bago po tayo makapasok sa langit at doon sa langit, yun yung kagustuhan natin to be united with God, to live with Jesus eternally. Yun yung divine plan. After our life here on earth, mamamatay tayo, then our souls, hopefully, will join the saints, the holies in heaven to live with God. Pero, hindi po dere-derecho yun. Especially, pag marami po tayong ginawang hindi maganda dito po sa bundong ibabaw. Dati-dati, yung nagtuturo ako sa college, para lang madaling maintindihan, paano po mangyayari yun, brother, ang sabi. For example, sabi ko, kung ang nanay mo, buong araw naglinis ng inyong bahay 
Lahat ng alikabok, nilinis ng inyong nanay, napakalinis, napakabango ng inyong bahay. Tapos ikaw, biglang dumating, nasa labas ng inyong bahay, nagpaulan, naglaro, nahulog sa kanal. Maraming putik, mabaho. Sa palagay mo, papayagan ka ng nanay mo na pumasok sa inyong bahay na pinaghirapan niyang linisin. O, siyempre, alam na nila ang sagot, hindi. So, anong gagawin ng nanay mo? Punta ka muna doon sa gripo, sa puso, o di kaya sa ulan. Maligo ka muna, maglinis ka muna, magsabon ka, bago ka pumasok sa bahay. Ganon din po ang langit. Yung sa bata, maraming nakadikit na putik. Yung mga kasalanan din po, para din po yung mga putik na nakadikit sa ating mga kaluluwa. At sa langit po, eh, yun po yung lugar ng mga banal, lugar ng mga pure, ng malinis na kaluluwa. God invites us all na pumasok doon. Kaya lang minsan, dahil sa ating mga kasalanan, we need to purify our soul first. And that is the reason why yung ating mga namatay na namahal sa buhay, hindi natin alam kung nandun na po sila sa langit. Kaya po, lagi-lagi, kung pwede po, araw-araw natin silang isama sa ating panalangin. Few seconds lang naman po iyon. Iyon po'y ikinagagalak na ng kanilang mga kaluluwa dahil may nagdadasal po sa kanila. Kani-kanina lang, nag-message ang aking nanay sa messenger. O anak, ito na yung mga ipagdadasal natin. Ang haba, makilala na pa ba natin tong iba? Sino tong mga to? Ewan ko lang, baka hindi lang families namin yun. Baka pati na ata ng mga close friends niya dati na gusto niyang ipagdasal ay nasama na ata ng nanay ko. Pero okay lang po, isama po natin sila sa ating mga dasal. And paano naman po tayo sa mga buhay pa lang? Buhay pa. Pangalagaan na rin po natin ang ating mga kaluluwa. Marami po sa atin, habang nabubuhay, nagkatrabaho, kumuha, kumukuha tayo ng insurance. We are preparing for our future. Kung, kung pagdating ng panahon na mag-retire tayo, dapat insured yung pagtanda natin. Ngayon pa lang nagpe-prepare na tayo para pagdating ng panahon na tayo ay nasa senior uh, citizen na na panahon, kunyari senior ka na, eh di kahit pa paano, hindi naman ganun kahirap. We prepare. Ganun din po sa ating kaluluwa. Hindi tayo katawan lang. We are body and soul. Kaya po, in our preparation, not only insurance, we also take good care of our souls. Paano po? O syempre, sundin natin yung utos ng ating Panginoon. Sa abot ng ating makakaya, iwasan po nating magkasala. At kung nagkasala man tayo, nahulog man tayo sa puti, andyan po ang ating sacrament of confession. Lahat na po binigay ng Diyos. Makapasok lang po tayo sa langit. Nawa po, tulad ng pag-aalaga natin sa ating mga katawan at sa ating pagtanda, isama na rin po natin ang ating mga kaluluwa. Let us all stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten that may, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We believe in the communion of saints, confident in the act of faith. Let us reach out in prayer for all who have passed away, especially those who need the charity of our intercessions. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may never forget the church waiting for the final glory in eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That light and peace may be given to the souls of those who never knew Christ in this life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who fear death may find hope in the risen Christ and His cleansing forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who mourn over the loss of their loved ones may be consoled as they pray for the souls of their beloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the mercy revealed in purgatory may deepen our trust in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of life, we commend into your care the souls of those who wait to share in the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look favorably in our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into the glory with your Son. In whose great mystery of love, we are all united, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer. 
incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy. Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat. Sa inyong pagtanggap ng kumunyon, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng kumunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin na inyong dalawang kamay ang hustya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hustya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng hustya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, from whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Mag-ingat po tayo sa pag-uwi at patuloy po nating ipagdasal ang ating mga hal sa buhay na yumao. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Pray. Isama na rin natin sa ating mga dasal, ang ating mga, mga mahal sa buhay na may sakit. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
unto the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawan. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.